blood enters the atria and leaves the ventricles and then starts over so whatever things they are actually taking place right from the point where the blood is entering the heart via atria and leaving the heart via ventricles they are all being encompassed they are all being bordered by this broader term that is the cardiac cycle so synchronizing this is the intrinsic electrical conduction system influencing the rate chronotropy dromotropy that is being done by the sympathetic parasympathetic divisions of autonomic nervous system now uh, coordinating the activity is because of the presence of the electrical conduction pathway as we know that the conduction actually starts over there in the sa node the sinoatrial node which is myogenic at 70 to 80 action potentials per minute and that is the actual heart rate um depolarization is spread through the atria via gap junctions and internodal pathways to the atrioventricular node the fibrous connective tissue matrix of the heart prevents the further spread of action potentials to the ventricles a slight delay is there at the ab node occurs and this is because of the slower formation of action potentials and it allows further time is been given to uh, atria to actually empty into ventricles action potentials travel down the atrioventricular bundle which is the bundle of hess splitting into the left and right atrioventricular bundles and then into the conduction myofibers purkinje cells are larger in diameter and conduct impulse very rapidly causes the cells at the apex to contract nearly simultaneously good for ventricular ejection now you can see the electrical conduction pathway at sinoatrial node there is depolarization occurs and electrical activity goes rapidly to atrioventricular node via internodal pathways then there is the spread of depolarization more slowly across the atria and conduction is slows through the av node so that the proper emptying of the atria into ventricles occurs the depolarization moves rapidly through the ventricular conduction system to the apex of the heart and the depolarization wave spreads upward from the apex later on so that whole of the heart bulk muscle that is actually being depolarized the electrical system gives rise to electrical changes that is the depolarization the repolarization that is transmitted through isotonic body fluids and is recordable that is the ecg electrocardiogram what is it it is actually the recording of the electrical activity of all the events taking place in the heart and it can be mapped via cardiac cycle as well um you can see how the electrical events of the cardiac cycle take place you can see that there is p p wave there is qrs complex there is t wave p wave is showing us the atrial contraction then qrs is showing the ventricular contraction and the t wave is showing the repolarization phase cardiac cycle has different phases and they are the systole which is the period of contraction their diastole the period of relaxation the cardiac cycle is alternating periods of systole and diastole as we know during one cardiac cycle there is a period of contraction then period of relaxation so the cardiac cycle is actually the alternation of these two either systole or diastole so the phases of the cardiac cycle they are the first one is the rest when the both atria and ventricles they are in diastole 
Now blood is filling both the atria and ventricles due to low pressure conditions. Then we have the atrial systole. In atrial systole, when the atria contracts, there is complete ventricular filling is going to take place. Then there is isovolumetric ventricular contraction. There is increased pressure in the ventricles, which is causing the AV valves to close. Why? It is going to create the first heart sound as well, and the atria is going to go back to diastole. No blood flow as semilunar valves, they are closed as well. Then we have the ventricular ejection. Intraventricular pressure overcomes the aortic pressure and there is opening of the semilunar valves. The blood is ejected. Then we have isovolumetric ventricular relaxation. The intraventricular pressure drops below aortic pressure and the semilunar valves they close and the second heart sound is created. The pressure still hasn't dropped enough to open the atrioventricular valves so volume remains the same and then again the heart goes to diastole. Now you can see the different phases. The first one is actually resting phase and late diastole. Both the sets of chambers are relaxed and the ventricles they fill passively. Then you can see atrial systole, atria they are contracting forcing the amount of uh, blood into the ventricles. Then isovolumetric contraction, the first phase of contraction pushing the AV valve closed but does not create enough pressure to open the semilunar valve. Then ventricular ejection, as the ventricular pressure exceeding the pressure in the arteries, the semilunar valves, they open and the blood is ejected out. Then isovolumetric relaxation. As the ventricles relax, the pressure in the ventricles fails, the blood flows back into cusps of uh, semilunar valves and the snaps them close. So this is how this pr uh, process goes on and on. So this is actually the diagram and all of you should learn this cardiac cycle, how to draw it, what are the different segments do full dissection of this cardiac cycle and just uh, learn it by heart. Uh, the questions which can be asked uh, in exam can be what is, uh, there can be different scenarios as well but different questions they are like define cardiac cycle, explain what are the different left ventricular volume changes taking place during cardiac cycle or what are the different uh, electrocardiogram uh, changes taking place during the course of heart. So you have to learn each and every segment. You can see that in the upper portion you are seeing that there is ECG changes. Then you can see um, the pressure in the aorta changes. Then you can see the pressure in the ventricular changes, then the heart sounds, then the volume changes. So there are the different segments which all of you should learn by heart and in detail. We'll do it in detail later on. This is just to give you the feeling that the core of today's uh, lecture is actually to know about the excitation contraction coupling and the cardiac cycle. All of you should learn this in detail. So stay blessed, work hard, Allah Hafiz.